Yeah, hello and welcome back uh, to Case of the Month in August 2019. Um, I have been, well, we have been a little bit busy the recent month in uh, building our, improving our laboratory in our clinic in Germany and additionally building a clinic probably in London in the United Kingdom. So please forgive me for not publishing a Case of the Month um, the recent three months. This case, I hope, is going to be interesting and uh, with a lot of insights. And as always, uh, great thanks goes to um, Barrett Hobel, who uh, our master dental technician, one of the leading technicians in our laboratory, produced this work. And of course, great thanks also to the patient enduring patiently all the pictures we've taken. A young lady, 24 years, years old, and you can see initially here that something is wrong with her teeth. She had a congenital missing lateral incisors. And uh, at full smile you can see something is not right. The work has been done, um, made several mistakes. One of, it, um, one of them, of course, is uh, using a metal framework. Second mistake is to bond the central incisor and the canine together, have a three span bridge, but we know that it shouldn't be done like this since 1991. Then the publications from Ben Thompson and uh, Professor Kahn from Kiel and the University of Maryland respectively. And um, of course the gum situation indicates immediately that we have um, teeth replacement strategy here in this case. So next picture you can even see more clearly what's wrong, especially the gum situation is not ideal. The patient came from very very far away, had to travel three and a half hours by train and we need to do many things in, in one visit and the patient was also restricted financially. So we decided to place um, two one-winged Maryland bridges, each using a central incisor as an anchor. And um, I would have loved to do a free gentle graft here to improve the volume of the situation um, in for the lateral incisors. But as I said, the patient was financially restricted um, as she was a student, so we could just do local surgery, which we did, which you'll see later on. So that's the situation again en face and you can see here another mistake being made was the framework being extended until the incisal edge and of course the light entering the translucent area of the incisal area of the tooth um, is reflected by the dark framework and is reflected gray so that's a mistake we shouldn't do with metal frameworks and with full ceramic frameworks as well. So first what we do is in one visit we we took the color, removed the framework, uh, took the color again, prepared for the Marin bridges, took a digital scan and uh, did the uh, surgery with uh, to, or to improve the gum situation. We always take pictures in the frontal view and the side view so that the technicians are not distracted by the uh, reflections of the flash of the camera and of course we always take a picture with the pole filter so that, that you can really see the who and the value of the tooth color. Yeah and then very carefully we removed the framework um, not to damage any enamel and uh, managed successfully then place the composite fillings on the palatal aspects of the canine because the enamel has been hurt in that case not by us but the preparation of the previous dentist and we take the color again with and without pole filter and if I go one step back you can see that we have a lot of vertical height of the gum situation in the area of the lateral incisors so that's what we used um, to put more buccally to increase volume so we did exactly that, did a split flap and rolled the top aspect towards the label aspect of the gums 
and then produced or had produced a, a night guard or a splint and filled that with composite and adjusted the pontic so that the teeth stay in position, that the patient has teeth in position um, when she goes uh, uh, outside publicly and uh, that we can reshape the gum situation. Yeah, that is the printed model from our digital scan and then the uh, final work. And I think this quite beautiful, I love it, not just when the uh, label, the visible aspect is beautiful, but also the palatal aspect is very important to me because I want to really have a work which um, imitates nature. So whenever you can't see it, that I've done something, then I've achieved a perfect result. But we're always, in this case as well, we're far away from perfection. There are always still things which we can do better. And then the label aspect, and then we go to the patient again, and we can see her here after two weeks, um, or two weeks after we've done the preparation, and you can see the gown situation looks really nice, uh, volume has increased, and uh, the papillas are there, and she brushed well, so all good to go to place the bridges. Here you can see the um, bridges in place, and of course the pontic can't fit, there's a gap. So we fill this gap with composite to transfer the information to the dental technician. This is the picture here. Transferred to the dental technician. And that's the second try. And you can see the color of the bridge is a little bit darker, but the teeth have lost water during all the, all the cleaning and, and uh, trying on. So um, this is not the true color of the central incisors, but we have been a little bit too dark. So if I could do the work again, I would do it a little bit, a little bit lighter. Of course, we place the bridges under rubber dam, I place place the clamps on the first premolars, and produce uh, ligatures with floss on the central incisors. That was really perfectly prepared. I recommend that prepare your area before you do anything so you really have a good bond between the teeth. Um, per lateral incisors, you have roughly a bonding area of 30 uh, square millimeters. Each square millimeter carries uh, 30 megapascal or 30 kilos, so that accumulates to around 90 kilos. So um, that's quite a lot. The average chewing force is something between 4 and 6 newton, I remember. And the maximum chewing force can be to from 300 to 900 uh, newton, but measured in the molar area. So we have ample room between the maximum chewing force and um, in the incisor region and um, our bonding strength. So now for the bonding, the enamel is just cleaned with pumice and water and then etched. And that's it. And the zirconium dioxide framework is just um, prepared with aluminum oxide, 50 microns, uh, under 2 bar, that's 0 0.2 megapascal, and uh, then that's it. And then bonded with Panavia, and the, the, um, the gaps, or not, not the gaps, the, the areas of the margins of the restorations are sealed with OxyGuard 2 to allow the Panavia to set and um, that's the final result. And you see, the color is not that bad when she's smiling. The lateral incisors are a tiny, tiny bit darker, so that's something we could have done a little bit better. And, um, but the patient was happy with it. I was okay with it, not particularly happy, but okay with it. And so, so we, we, we left the work as it is. And this is the work directly after um, one week after placing in the uh, control in the recall uh, session you can see the gums look quite okay it healed well and here picture taken with a pole filter again you can see that we could have gone a little bit lighter and a little bit more yeah i always call it sunny a little bit more yellowish um, than gray so there's room for improvement for the next restoration but overall um, a good result patient cleans patient is happy and uh, yeah thank you very much for your kind attention. This here is the last picture of uh, this case of the month. 
actually this is the picture I love most because you can see absolute perfect soft tissue con uh, conditions and um, absolutely perfect bonding to the to the uh, central incisors and it looks with the exception of the small the small ridge on, on the incisal part looks really really natural so this picture really made me happy and the composite fillings on the canines you can't see either so I'm happy with the result and the patient was as well so thank you again for your kind attention and yeah have a good week and hopefully see you again for the next case of the month thank you bye bye <laughs>